Good morning, Dario Rossi, Head of Motorsport Division in Riedel. Uh, I will tell you a little bit about our involvement in Formula One. Uh, Riedel started to be involved in Formula One 25 years ago, nearly. Uh, next year is our 25th anniversary in Formula One. And uh, our involvement is going through all the team. We supply all the Formula One team. The FIA, the Federation International Automobile, and uh, FOM and Broadcaster. The, um, the central part of our involvement is obviously communication, and uh, we tend to supply solution. Our solution is through our product. Um, the intercom of Riedel is visible every race in the pit wall, but you can also see in the garage and in the facility home. Formula One in the recent year changed the rules, uh, which make only 60 people per team to be operative in the car. That uh, was triggered the fact that we have much more necessity than the past to be connected home in the factory with the rest of the team, which sometimes go to 400 or 500 people. Uh, the technology that we introduced a few years ago as an innovation was uh, with our sister company, Rida Networks, uh, uh, what we call MPLS, which is a special fast line of internet. Uh, just to give you an idea, we connect Melbourne to some team in Italy in 260 milliseconds, and that is comprised uh, uplink and downlink. So in essence, we can say we are in real-time connection. And in fact, when the car is running, the driver is uh, listened by 400 people around the world in different locations and they can all speak and uh, listen to each other. That uh, is become very, very important because it reduces uh, the cost indirectly because we travel less people around the world. Increase uh, the competencies because you have a resilience in the team and uh, become very, very strategic. On site, uh, we support as well uh, radio, which uh, allow people to go around the paddock and the circuit. Uh, we supply also FIA, as I said, with intercom, they communicate with each team, and uh, radio in safety and medical car, so with full coverage of the truck. As well there, we introduced some innovation that was the first in the sport events, like a centralized base station which allowed to have a very good synergy and control of one big base station that allowed us to manage 2,000 radio per event. And that now is also used in some other events. So for Riedel, in principle, the Formula One involvement is also a way to develop technology and uh, functionality, reliability that is extended to the other event we are doing. On FIA side, we support them in what we call race control. With doing that, we interface all the video that is present on the track. And when we say all the video, we mean the broadcasting video, which is produced by FOM, uh, the CCTV camera, which is normally the race track camera, and our own camera, which we can call a pit stop camera, park fermi camera, pit lane camera, some special camera. So all in all is about 120, 130 video signal that is synchronized and stamped and saved in the server. Uh, we develop also a software for race control, which has a law to race control and the race director to review an incident in real time. Here is not 200 milliseconds, but it's uh, basically some second. So one of our operators is sitting at the desk uh, of race control and um, he can review an incident, change the camera angle, access some data, audio, telemetry, uh, and if there is director decide that there is an infringement, he can create what we call a clip and send it to the steward room, which there is another of our guys, and they can review and decide the penalty. All this is really in a few seconds. That is where the people see television is under investigation, is where they already have the video, they already discussing what to decide as a penalty. On uh, what we call TV compound, where the broadcaster is based, we supply all of them with uh, artists and Medionet. Medionet has been a big uh, help for us in the event because most of the time we have races, uh, what we call back-to-back, -back, 
and the simplification of having an Esper system like Medianet, which simplifies the number of fiber and is an intelligent system itself, help a lot in the setup time and the rigging. Moreover, two years ago, with our partner RTL, we imply to um, use the same concept that we are using with Team, and we introduce what we call a remote production. What that means is that uh, we have a set of uh, Medionet on site in uh, RTL camp, and instead of having a number of people on site to make a production, we send all the senior back in Cologne with very, very limited uh, time delay, and they make the production there. We also have a, a, a return link where we see the production as well, so we always monitor that everything is going in the right direction. Uh, but that is changing a lot in the, um, the procedure of broadcaster because, again, flying less people is a saving, is making more people happy to stay home and because we have a number of events like 20 a year, 21 in 2018. And the quality of, uh, of, the, of the service is just uh, unbelievable. For the 2018 season, um, we will uh, have some innovation, uh, particularly our new product, which is called Bolero, is a wireless intercom. Uh, we tested this year in 2017 because our environment is very challenged. We have a unique uh, number of problems to solve. Uh, typically, we have uh, infrastructure because the Tribune is in metal, the garage is in metal. We have telemetry of the car. We have uh, a number of disturb in the frequency due to the white noise of uh, um, broadcaster, repeater, safety, um, you name it, we have it. And it's been very successful. Um, we tested since Monaco, and we start to use it um, in, since Monza with uh, FIA. And next year, we will implement it to all the team. So that is a big change in terms of uh, freedom because obviously it has a six channel in full uh, duplex and is also going to influence the way the team is operating. That is why we need also a little bit of time to test and make sure the procedure, how things is done before the race and after the race and during the race is, uh, is uh, governed. Um, particularly before the race is a very strange situation because it's the only moment where you have 20 cars in the same spot, basically, five meters one each other, and where the people need to get a very clear conversation with the driver. Um, we are very satisfied with this introduction. Moreover, in 2018, we will have 21 races. That means for us, uh, we have to change our uh, procedure and fiber infrastructure. For the first time in Formula One history, we will have three races, uh, one each other. So it's not anymore back to back, but it's back to back to back. And uh, for people that is working in an event, they know what that means because we finish an event on Sunday night and we go into a new location and on Tuesday we are operative. But you need to keep in advance uh, consideration about logistic, material, infrastructure testing and not having a rest it will be a quite a big challenge for my guys which is a very good team but obviously they're still human so we have put in place a number of new aspects in terms of uh, how we can uh, rig quickly how we can derig quickly how we can guarantee the quality without having to incro increase sorry or double the structure because that is not acceptable so the challenge is always to try to make things in the most professional way, in the shortest time, and in the perfection. So um, it's quite a good challenge to win. Welcome to Barcelona, where Riedel is attending the pre-season test, the T2, as it's called. And uh, if you come inside, I will show you how we are working here. Uh, we test our infrastructures, the first one. We have two sets of infrastructures, so we test the first one 
Um, we remove it and send it to Australia. Now it's, that's the second one, which will go from here to Bahrain, which is the second Grand Prix of the season. Um, all the system we deploy is working very well and uh, we're getting ready for uh, ramp up uh, very well for Melbourne, which is the first Grand Prix of 2018. For the first time we deploy fully infrastructure for the Bolero system, which is the new wireless that we tested last year by cell, uh, by ourselves, sorry. And uh, we now deploy to all the team, which they started to use it in pit stop practice, uh, during their procedure, in race simulation, and so and so. We are very happy, it's working very well, and uh, we expected a, a very exciting season this year. The Bolero system is uh, mainly a bell pack, which has been designed as a wireless intercom. So it has a full quality of the standard intercom of Riddle, but it's wireless. This gives an advantage, especially in Formula 1, to be moving around and be able to use it on the pit lane in operational people during the pit stop, for example. He has six channels, four in the front, two on the side. He has a headset or earpieces, and it's possible also to use it as a normal bell pack uh, telephone. It's fully configurable. You can have a routed different channel. The big advantage uh, compared to the radio that we use it until today is the possibility to have a six channel in full duplex. While the radio normally you have one group of people and is scanning over some other group. And obviously to talk you have to push the button, it's never, it's half duplex as it's called. Um, we are very happy, it's quite rugged, it's uh, waterproof. We already tested last week in the, in the snow. And uh, hopefully we don't have many races in the snow this year. But of, we, we, know, we know that we will have some race in the, in the rain. That is not an issue. Uh, the battery life is quite satisfactory. It's over 20 hours, and when you go full channel, full duplex, you can go 18 hours, which is more than the Grand Prix. So all in all, is an innovation that uh, will change the procedure, and which is just the start. Because the more we use it, the more the team will use it, they will find more and more application, and we're looking forward to the challenge that will rise every time to us.